G'day guys, welcome back. It's swap day, look, I've got my little piece of plastic. I haven't done this for so long. You know where I put the um, colors all in here and I put a little bit of swipe color on the top and then I just swipe down with my piece of plastic. I'm gonna do that today. I've been a bit of a messy girl today. Look, I've spilt my blue. <laughs> oh my gosh. I spilled things twice today. I don't know what's going on with me. So anyway, this is just a piece of plastic that I got from um, the office supply shop. It used to be a document holder. I could, I had another piece there and a little flap and I just cut them up. So it's just a, it's a good weight. So I was going to put that over there. Um, my paints, as you can see, I, oh, I nearly did it again. I don't know what's wrong with this one. This is the one I've spilt twice already. It says, no, I don't want to do it today. And it's spilt twice. Oh my gosh. So this is a light blue. Um, I've got a creamy tan kind of a colour. Now they don't leave a mound, it kind of just leaves a bit of a pyramid. So the, it kind of comes down and then it kind of just goes out like that. Okay, so there's no mound on a mound. And then I've got this like blue turquoise colour, which had a blob in it. And then I've got this... Um, orangey yellow color this I had to add much more paint it was really thin I think it's one of the old old colors I am sure that Montmartre have changed their consistency the recipe of their paint it used to be quite thin and now it's really thick and it's doing my head in because my normal one-to-one -one ratio when I do flip cut pours doesn't work anymore I'm gonna have to go one and a half to one because they've made the paint thicker um, so it's just this one the Montmartre studio acrylic um, that I'm using and I've got um, most probably two parts pouring medium to one part paint for these that one as I said I had to add more paint so 60% glue 40% water in there and then as I said I've got like two parts of that to one part paint my swipe color is three to one three parts pouring medium to one part paint and I've only got a little bit because I'm only going to put a bit on the top there and for cells, the usual, the magic spot on treadmill silicone oil. And let's do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's go four, 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 four. They're pretty big cups. I've got 100 grams of pouring medium, 50 grams of paint. So what I started with and uh, yeah then I just had to play with the consistencies a little bit a couple this orange I had to add more paint the tan one I had to add a bit more paint so just to get them all the same consistency so it's not as much about the recipe you know the recipe is a guide but it's all about the consistency there's no point saying oh I'm only going to do two to one and then that's it and then one of them is really really thin and one of them is really really thick you start with your recipe and then you have to change it accordingly. Add a little bit more paint if it's too thin, add a little bit more pouring medium or a splash of water if it's too thick so that all your paints are the same consistency. So that's them. No oil in your swipe colour. Right, so what I'm going to do is just basically pour this on. Let's see if I need any more. Just basically blending those colors. I am going to tilt the canvas and tip them all over the edge in a minute. I like to swap with a dark color and then have lighter colors in on the canvas or you can do it opposite. If you're going to swap with a light color then you need to have darker colors on your canvas. I don't know that I want too much of that orange. We'll see. See how it goes. So I've mixed up about 600 grams of mixed paint. Um, probably don't need it all. Don't need all that orange. I, I don't think, oh, maybe a little bit more. Just for a pop, you know. need it all though and I don't think we need any more of the tan let's put some more of this light blue on I think that'll go really pretty with the dark 
the dark blue is like a Payne's grey that I made myself. That's what I call it anyway. Start with phthalo blue and then you know, add a little bit of purple, add a little bit of black. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Right, so now we need to tip the paint all over the canvas. I do want to try and leave just a tiny little bit of space at the top if I can. If it goes over it doesn't matter but I would like to leave a little bit of a, a gap. So this is where we just tip the paint off, spread it around and hopefully everything is covered. All right, let me wipe my hands. There's a couple of little blobby bits in there. Okay. Now, the fun part. It's just, I think I've covered everything. Make sure all your edges and your corners are covered because you're not going to swipe over your corners and once, once you've done your swipe, you're not going to... Um, you know, be tipping or tilting your canvas again. So make sure everything's covered now. And then, um, so what I like with my swipes, I don't like my color going right up because when I um, swipe down, I don't like how sometimes it catches at the back there. I prefer to have a block color, but that's, you know, that's totally up to you. You don't have to do it like that. I'm just gonna pour all this on and then um, some of it can like fall over the back to cover the back like so make sure that that back area is covered can't see I'll have to walk around here oh no we've missed a bit look at that that's okay make sure that your back's covered there and your sides covered alrighty Dunskies. Now, it's important when you swipe, put your feet, don't put your feet together like this. Don't put them like that because when you swipe and your feet are like together like that, you're more likely to fall over. Put one in front of the other. That way when, you trans, when you're swiping, you can transfer the weight of your body back to this back foot. You'll know what I mean <laughs> if you've ever tried this and um, got halfway through and then had to stop because you're about to fall over. Now let's just touch touch that plastic into just the navy and off we go. Just pull it slowly down towards you. Like so. And then I have this bit of paper towel down here that I, I use just to wipe off that extra paint like that. All right, so that's looking good. Now, I don't mind it how it's got more dark there, although I'm just a bit concerned that I might not get any cells through that side. So I'm actually just going to... I'm put a little bit more navy just here if I've got any left. And I'm going to just do the same thing. I'm going to use the other side of my plastic. And I'm just going to go again, just because there's a lot of blue there, I probably put too much on, even though it was only a tiny bit. And I'm just a bit worried that I might not get any cells through that because it is so thick there. <clears throat> That's still quite dark, isn't it? Oh. Um, I'll go one more time. One more time. Just ever so lightly. That should give us a really nice thin blue coating or Payne's grey coating. 
over the top. Right, now this is where we torch and hopefully the cells will come out. So I'm not expecting any cells across that top section there because, you know, there's no colour underneath that blue. I'm um, sorry, there's, yeah, there's no colour underneath the blue there, so... Just go lightly with your torching, don't go overboard. I, I personally don't like a lot of cells. I just like a sprinkling of cells. I think that looks really pretty. So in the areas where you've got a lot of blue, you might not get too much sillage coming through. But we shall see what happens. This is more, I, I say, when it comes to cells. So they will pop up and they will grow a little bit as well, so don't overdo it. If you'd like to see some of your background, I think. It's quite dark just there. So not much will come through. If you've got a, a thick layer of, of your swipe colour, not a lot tends to come through. And I'm a bit out of practice <laughs> with, with swiping like this, like it's been, oh, I used to do this all the time, but seriously, I haven't done one for so long. I'm a bit out of practice. Clean the bottom. And there we go. A little underwater wonderland, hey? So pretty. And we've got those multicolored cells, which are really pretty. Now, I don't mind. See how there's these little lines? I don't mind those. It, it just adds to the interest. If they were like a big thick line, it would bother me, but um, it's just a little thin line and it doesn't bother me. Let me just turn off my, I can actually turn them both off. Let's go down and have a little look-see. Look at those cells. Aren't they pretty? So down the bottom here where you've got less of your swipe color over the cells you get more cells and then up here oh, it's a bit glary up there where the the blue or the um, swipe colors you know thicker because it hasn't traveled as far there's a few less cells but it's it's adds to the interest you know you don't want everything exactly the same I mean there still are cells up there but we've got that area there where there's not that much because there was a little bit, the blue was a little bit thicker. So what do you think? Do you love it? Now, where's my cream? I was debating putting white in or cream. And uh, probably, maybe I should have put white in. Not sure, but I do like those. Right out. I'll no doubt do it again. Um, might do blues and white. I do like the white, just to see what the difference is. But there she is. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Have a go at swiping. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Just don't put any pressure on when you um got your plastic or your card or anything. Don't push down on it. Just gently lay it down on the colours and gently drag it towards you. Don't push while you're dragging. That's the main thing. Otherwise, you take all your paint off. All right. I'll see you real soon for the next video. Take care. Stay safe. Bye for now.